We've come to Glasgow, Montana to witness how a new aviation safety technology gets its start. In this case, a technology to prevent collisions on airport ramps. But what is this place and what was it? This was a SAC base standing for the Strategic Air Command. They used to park big B-52 bombers in these hangars. And then as the global political situation changed, the government simply left. So in 1979, the county took over this property, Valley County. Darcel was seen, used to manage this place for the county. She now runs it for Boeing, which bought it in 1992. We maintain the facilities that we need to support flight test and doing testing on this site. It's now called MARCO, the Montana Aviation Research Company, a Boeing subsidiary, but it's also available to others. We've had um, Bombardier, Embraer also test at the site. There is history into what was once known as the Glasgow Air Force Base. It was a supersonic 101 B voodoo right. that was stationed here. She keeps this newspaper article written shortly after it opened. I do have some pictures of the B-52s too that we had here. This is 59. 1959, yeah. In many ways it's a place frozen in time. The old prices in the mess are still posted. Breakfast for 50 cents, others just a dollar. The mess still serves meals to flight test crews. Surplus buildings remain boarded up. There's some peeling paint. The fence has endured many Montana winters. It remains what it was. The control tower clock stopped at 0300 hours. Dial telephones haven't carried a voice in decades. But the tower doesn't have much to control anyway. All this loneliness has its advantages. Because we're remote, um, it's a great airspace, they can get a lot done. Like today, you know, they can use the whole airfield and not have anybody else bother them. It only takes eight people to run it. So we take care of 3,500 acres. More fly in like we did for testing. We you don't have to share it with anybody. Boeing has even used this place for noise testing because it is so remote, so quiet. Here, some 35 miles south of the Canadian border, some 100 miles west of the North Dakota state line a place that once defended the nation, now helping develop tomorrow's technologies.